So RIP to that, man. But the real conversation that I wanted to have surrounding this was the um, the mayor, oh. Keisha Lance Bottoms. Um, Funny name, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be a little more, more mature in doing the shit like this, y'all. <laughs> I need to grow the fuck up. All right, so Keisha Lance Bottoms. This isn't like since this whole thing with George Floyd popped off, and you know America kind of got turned upside down. She has been firing cops that have been out here just, especially if they're caught on video doing wrong. So, um, a lot of people give her her hell for that, but. Do you think that she's like on the right path? Like, is this better, or should, or do we want to see like cops in jail? Like, which I mean, one? I mean, they need to go to jail. But personally, I'm just one of them people. I, I'm an eye for an eye type of nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm with the death penalty shit. But she, technically, she can't fire anybody. She's a man. She don't really work for. You know what I mean? She ain't over the cops. I think what they do, and if you look at America. It always seems like they put a black person, a black face in the mayor position whenever they got, it's a predominantly black city and they know the crime is crazy. They throw a black person in that position and try to blame all of the violence on them. Now, is right. it a coincidence in Chicago has been so violent the last few years? Is it a coincidence they got a black man, a black woman also? Yeah. And then you got Lance Bottoms, black woman. I remember Detroit had a black guy, uh, Kwame. Kwame Kirkpatrick. <laughs> who got in trouble, but they always put, a, they will put a black mayor in position to try to blame and deflect all of the city crime issues and shit like this on them. But in reality, how much does this really have to do with the mayor? I mean, what the fuck is she supposed to do? Right. Was, they, people were protesting in front of this lady's house a couple of weeks ago. The mayor's house? Yeah, Lance Bottoms. I'm like, what the fuck y'all want her to do? Like, right, and, and why are they protesting her? Like, isn't didn't she do her job? Didn't she do what y'all wanted her to do? Like. Yeah, it was, I'm not trying to be a, a Superman, you know, save Captain Save a Hope. I'm just saying, like, what else? What do you want the mayor to do about? I mean, all she can do is see that people get fired and shit like that. And right. you know, she can't really she she can't be everywhere. She wasn't in that Wendy's parking lot. Right. But like, I do think they just they put in a lot of these tough big cities where they know it's a lot of shit going on. They will put a black person in that position. And like I say, is it a coincidence? A black man in Chicago. It's like the fall guy. Yeah, the fall guy. So they're gonna blame yeah. all the homicides in Chicago on that little old ugly lady that looked like Grady Stanford and shit. L- Lori Mo. <laughs> yeah, no. They blame it on little Grady and blame it on that. I'm like, nah, man. It's a, I don't think you can really blame it on the mayor, to be honest. Right. So I always wonder this too, because you know how we, you know, not we, you and I, but in the general uh, congregation of black people always claim we want justice so like do we is are we ever are we satisfied when somebody when the police officer gets fired because event essentially they're losing their job their livelihood and depending on how much time they got in they might not have a pension or do we like really want to see them in jail like that's the real question because like you said you're you're about eye for an eye so yeah, yeah you ask me it's different i mean you kill one of my people i'm like yo death penalty you know, because, like, remember that lady killed that guy in, in Dallas? She only got three to five years. Yeah, that's crazy. That's going to go by like that. I mean, time goes by fast these days. Yeah, I'm sure. It's, it's been, what, like two years already, right? No, it happened in January. But, I mean, look, it's June already. I mean, this, this time goes by quick, man. Hold up. That was, the, the woman yeah. in Dallas? Yeah, she ran into the guy's house and then the, the, met Boca the judge. Jean, right? Yeah, Judge. Nah, Maddie. that was oh, January man. last year? This year? That was just this year, bro. That was the top of the year. That she it got sentenced? Like it was at the beginning of this year, if I'm not mistaken. When she got sentenced, because that man, he got killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the trial and all of that was this year. Okay, because I'm like, hold up. Yeah, this this fucking year, man. I, it's a, We're living in the twilight zone. I, yeah, this, I'm like, a lot to keep up with. That's why I said I ain't going to hold you to it. It's a lot to see. There's a lot of, it's a, it's a TV show. This shit is episodic. Every week, it's a whole new theme. It's a new cliffhanger. It's, I feel like I'm watching breaking bad or some shit this shit is crazy right. yeah um like i my city newark um we have um we have a black mayor but we've since i've been around there's always been a black mayor um but they they were one of the cities that you know when the protest broke out that it was it, it, or it didn't break out but it was very peaceful and right. uh, yeah, y'all city is tough <laughs> 
I don't live there no more, but that's still oh, okay. my city. <laughs> nah, I just listen. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I was say Newark is. North, North is rough, but it's rough because of the condition. You know, yeah. like people. I was, are, I was happy for y'all though when I seen. I said, "Damn, okay." I was, I was like, "Newark." I was like, "Oh shit." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and when when they told me it was happening, everybody was like, "Yo, how's it going in Newark?" I was just like, "I don't know, man." And then when <laughs> it, it turned out that way, I was like, "All right, cool." Kudos to um, Mayor Roz Baraka because he's actually like on the ground, like you know. People, you know, quiet is kept. People never really fuck with Cory Booker because he okay. basically, he kind of sold the city down the river. You know what I'm saying? Like when gentrification was like, you know, just starting off, like Cory Booker, he got up in there in the middle of that and like made some things happen. Now, was it for the better or for the worse? Only time would tell because right now what Roz is doing, he's trying to make sure that the city, the the citizens of the city stay within the city and they can open businesses. Like, yeah, you have all of these other people moving into downtown and they're building all of these high rise um, estates and they're still making sure that people can uh, live in the city. Like Shaq built a building downtown next to, um, what is that? Next to uh, NJ Pack and the Robert Treat. Like it's a huge high rise. And, um, you know, they had to make sure that some of the um, apartments in there were, you know, income based. And I was looking when I was looking around a studio, they wanted like 920 for a mm. studio in that building. I was like, they call this income based. Like, right. it's it's insane the way that it's going. But at least Roz is trying from what I see. Like now, sure. like I said, when he's out of office or whenever, you know, time will tell. But he, But he's actually from like the turf, like, you know, born and raised there. Um, he grew up with my father, my aunt, um, my mom, all of them, like, you know, his father, um, Mary Baraka, bless his soul, rest in peace, you know, philanthropist, like he has history tied to that city. So I feel like this means more to him than most mayors. You know, so like, Cory Booker is not from there. Nah, Cory Booker, Cory Booker lived in, uh, one of the housing projects, Brick Towers, to to prove that, you know, like, hey, I can live amongst the people. I remember okay. when I used to hang out in uh, Pennington Court, you know, back when I was uh, a little hood rat running the streets. He came through there one night, like, with his security guards trying to, like, act, talk to the people. Like, oh, hey, how's it going? What are you guys up to? Like, you know, trying to make it seem like he's really about that life. Meanwhile, <laughs> one is out here trapping, and here you come through at fucking 9 o'clock at night talking about some... Yeah, sure. Huh? When was this? Shit, when was this? Like 2006, 2000, yeah, 2006. Oh, Cory Booker for a minute. Yeah, yeah, nah, he was, he was, he was there. I think, you know, and I feel like most of the mayors that was there, like, because before him, Sharp James was there. He was, shit, I think he had like 20 years or something. And then Cory Booker came in, and I think Cory did like maybe eight years or something. I forget however long the term is, but Ross has been there lately, and you know, he's, like I said, he's from the turf. Like, Sharp James is from the turf. That's what they should get, man, yeah, people from the, because I always thought Cory Booker was like a great value Obama or something, like a knockoff. Obama. Exactly. That, and that's what, and that's what his, his um, electoral uh, campaign was all about. Cory wants to go into, like, he wanted to be mayor, yeah, to get to the Senate. Remember. And he thinks he's going to get in the White House, but they like, Nah, nigga, sit your Wonder Bread ass down. Yeah, one, yeah, you, it was only one. They had one, the one and only. Yep. But, um, yeah, no, you're right. The A lot of these mayors in these um black cities are the fall guy. That's mm -hmm. crazy because, you know, um, like you said, T.I. came out and, you know, when uh, this shit started, him and Killer Mike, and they were telling people not to – um burn down the city but you know killer mike being such a revolutionary dude telling people to fucking stand up and fight the system now you're telling people not to burn down the city it's kind of like yo what do you want us to do you want us to stand with our hands tied like yeah, kumbaya and that shows you the, the lack of influence the mayor has i don't know if she's from atlanta i think she is but she had to go get the two influence she had to get two iconic rappers 
to try to settle these young black people down because she don't have the same reach to the young right. like crowd in Atlanta as Killer Mike and T.I. do. No. Veteran rappers, veteran rappers. Next thing, who's she gonna get next? Little Baby come up there? You know, like, Mike, didn't, didn't he release uh, some conscious music? Song. Yeah, with, with Black Lives Matter. It was, yeah, it was, it was, he released a nice song. That's what I'm like, saying. Like, th- this shit's like mad trendy, and that's why it's, yeah, it's all long. convoluted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but she's going to probably have to get one of those rap niggas because she don't got that kind of influence in the streets of Atlanta. The people, they're not listening to her. Right. Because for, for the most part, like, everybody, everybody always refers to the fact that when Barack Obama was in office, he did more for everybody else than black people, which, you know, some would argue is true, some would argue it isn't. That's neither here nor there. But yeah. history has shown us that, you know, these these black faces are basically just fall guys. So when shit gets bad, it's like, well, that person was in charge and they know us black people. All they got to do is point somebody out and we're on their ass. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, I, I get the, blame the man for a lot of different issues, but I don't see how you blame the man for a cop killing some, some tipsy guy in the Wendy's parking lot. You know yeah. what I mean? First of all, like, uh, yeah, they, they need to learn how to, um, cause they, they're talking about like police reform, right? Or,